that I really don't want to, but I need to clean my house. I have a pool party in three days, so I need to get my house in order. Probably won't get it all done today, so you might see an outfit change halfway through this. I really need to get my house presentable for other humans that don't live here and don't, I don't know, like everyone understands the mess. Everyone's got mess in their houses. Most of our friends have kids, so they understand that it does not stay clean, which is also why it'll probably be over two days because most of the stuff that I'm cleaning today, um, it's gonna get messed up again and I'm gonna have to refresh it before we actually have the party. But I need to get it done where it's not such a big task right before everyone shows up and I'm running around trying to make it look like people don't live here because that's what we do for some reason. But I don't want everyone having to deal with our mess and my kids' room is a mess. Wait till you see upstairs. Oh my God, the playroom is... It looks like I've already had a party up there and had 50 kids playing. It is an absolute wreck because I haven't cleaned it in like two weeks. So that needs to happen really bad. Then we're going to get as much as we can done today, get some done tomorrow, then probably refresh it again right before the party. I hope that this gives y'all lots of cleaning motivation where you can get everything done that you need to get done in your house for the weekend. And hopefully we can shake our butts to some good music along the way. I try to find good upbeat music for y'all for these things. So let me know how y'all like the music or if y'all would like some kind of different tempo or something like that. And also let me know if you want me to like break in and talk throughout the movie or if you just are the movie oh yes this is a movie production or if you want me to just show y'all my cleaning and play music the whole time because i like both cleaning videos sometimes i don't want to hear the person's voice though so just play me some music other times i want you to explain to me what you're doing so just let me know what your preference is where i can put out stuff that y'all actually prefer so yeah let's get to it because i'm procrastinating because i don't want to clean you close but you know my mind is torn up I never thought it'd be like this we're like a broken record cause we always mess it up even though we say we never do that so here we go acting like we do we say things that are not true but some of course only a few minutes into cleaning one of my kids wants a snack and it causes even more of a mess, but that's fine. That's the way it goes. It's just a never ending process of just cleaning and feeding them and cleaning. And then guess what? Then they need a bath. Yep. And then probably they're going to poop themselves, but that's the way motherhood goes. these clothes that have been sitting in this basket for about three days and wouldn't know it we already have laundry to start again so I'm going to start a load of my husband's work clothes because they're the only clothes that really matter because the rest of us we can just lounge around in our bed clothes if we want to but he needs actual clothes but I love this stick right here that I'm using on the laundry. This is called Fleece Napa. I got it off of Amazon for like 89 cents and it takes stains out of everything you should try it out. It is awesome. Even set in stains, it gets them right out.
did a Grove collaborative order. There's not like a ton of things in here. There's actually a lot of uh, duplicates of some of my favorite things in here. So I'm just gonna throw this into this video. I'm still cleaning today. It's still kind of a cleaning video because I clean every single freaking day. But I'm gonna show y'all what I did get from Grove that I just can't go without. So let's get into this. Actually, there is a few new things that I haven't tried. So maybe I'll have a new favorite. We had family pictures done earlier today, so my hair is actually done, and I'm wearing makeup. Oh, oh my gosh, have y'all ever seen me in makeup? It's been a while. It's been a long while. The Grove always packages their stuff really well, so everything is like stuffed in here really tight where nothing spills on the way here. And all the times I've ever ordered from Grove, I had one thing spill and they gave me a refund for it right away. So that was awesome. So here's a little sneak peek. So I love their uh, dish soap. So 
So I got two honeysuckles. And I got two bluebell. This one is my favorite. It smells so good. And then I also needed hand soap. They didn't have the bluebell or I would have gotten that one. But I got honeysuckle and I got oak. Oat Blossom. I've never smelled this before. Let's see. Didn't Does not smell like I thought it would. Like there's a little bit of oat smell to it, but it actually smells a little bit floral. So I guess that's what they call it, Oat Blossom. But yeah, that smells pretty good. And then I've never tried the Method hand soap, and this is Sweet Water. And this one, I think it's supposed to be foaming. Sniff this one. That really doesn't have much of a scent, but I think I'm gonna put this one in my bathroom just because it's like prettier. And then these will be my hand soaps for the sink. Sorry for all the background noise. I'm <laughs> moving on for my kids, and my kid is over there watching a video. Oh, I ordered seeds. So um, Grove is doing this new thing where they're trying to branch out. So this is from Hamama Super Salad Seed Quilt. For salad sandwiches, garnishes, growing time is 10 days. Peel, cover in five to six days. There's supposed to be broccoli, kale, kohlrabi, arugula, cabbage, and cauliflower. There's a minimum of 3,800 seeds in this. Whoa, okay. So, this packaging is completely biodegradable. And I'm guessing you wet this whole thing and then they germinate. I wish I like already knew what was what but we don't know. So, I don't know if I want this much of everything. Are there any more directions? That's it? Nope, that's it. Huh. Okay, but I'm guessing you wet this whole thing and wait until they germinate and then peel the cover in five to six days and then you have all your little salad greens on this. I would probably like cut them individually where they would have a little bit more room to actually grow. But this is interesting. We'll give this a try for sure. I wish I came with a little bit more direction, so. While we're on seeds, I will show you this. This is a stir fry seed pop and it just says plant me. And that's all it says. So this is supposed to be Thai basil, garlic chives, and pak choy, not bok choy, pak choy. Let me turn this movie off. No one's watching this movie anyways. Okay, so like I was saying, this is Thai basil, garlic chives, and pak choy. And I'm guessing they are all in there together also. And it says, warning, choking hazard, not for children under three. Okay, so I think it's a real lollipop, I guess. And it says that it is in a clay worm casting planting instructions inside. So this one actually has some planting instructions. And it's just in like a little casting, I guess, with all the seeds in there. That's pretty cool. So I love gardening and this right here seemed like a really affordable way to um, get some seeds. I think each of these were like four bucks for all these seeds. So yeah, that's cool. So this was something that I've never seen on there before. It said just like add it to your cart and it was free. So this is a hand dry, hydrating hand soap, lemon and eucalyptus from Grove, Grove Collaborative and this was free, but I did have to add it to my cart. There's that. And then, I don't really like sponges, but these were all natural sponges. So these are coconut scouring pads and they're made of like the husks of the coconuts. So there's that. 
And then I got some man's uh, body wash. And this is Sea and Surf. I've gotten this one before. It's been a while though. It smells pretty good to me. And then I love my scrub brush that I have, but the head of it is like blown out and I've had the brush, like the stick part of it for three years, I think. And it's getting a little bit beat up. So I think I'm going to switch it out. And also like the little clip part is getting worn out too. So these you can just push down right here and it slides off and you can have uh, reusable heads on it. So that part right there is getting a little worn out on my old one as well. And then it just clips back on when you need a new one. And I got two replacement heads because the one I got, it's definitely shot. <laughs> like it's all kind of splayed. Yeah. So that is it. That's everything in my Grove order. I love Grove Collaborative. They have a lot of different brands on there. Method and Mrs. Myers are definitely my favorites that they have. But if you order from them, make sure you go in after you have made your order and you um, unsubscribe to the items that you don't want or they will automatically reorder them for you again. I had like a hundred and something dollar order just placed on my behalf that I didn't want one time because they had signed me up for all these subscriptions but you can unsign yourself up. So definitely check out Grove. You can get like a free five piece Mrs. Meyer set most of the time if it's your first time signing up. Um, but I've got to go. That baby crying is my cue to get off of here. But yeah, try out Grove Collaborative. There's a lot of great things, great scents. Oh, also try uh, Caldrea Room Sprays. Smell really good, but I got to go be a mom now. Yes, we tie our refrigerator door closed because if we don't, our middle child, he comes in here like every two minutes and is wanting some kind of snack. And most of the time he doesn't even it he just opens it up and then throws it on the floor so he's just wasting food and since making this video I have found a lock I can put on here that is not just a bandana that works a lot better but I'm going to clean up my refrigerator because it's always good to have a clean fridge and have a little bit of room in there before we have a party because I know I'm gonna have leftovers that I'm going to have to shove in here so that's what I'm going to do here is just give this a quick clean out and wipe everything down
lucky to be yours shopping with three dang kids was more exhausting than cleaning the whole house this morning. <sighs> I should just wait till their daddy got home and went by myself. <sighs> Am I the only one? Uh, since we did it, since we got it done, let's do a quick grocery tour while we're at it, I guess. Or not grocery tour. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Grocery haul. First of all, a kid pick. Cheese puffs. More kid picks. Donuts. Kettle corn popcorn, because they won't eat regular popcorn. Two things of hamburger buns for the party. I couldn't find the bagels that my husband usually eats, so I got these. Hopefully they're good. Then they haven't had my husband's creamer during the entire pandemic, so for like a year. So this time we went with French vanilla. And also, I love almond milk, but I get the unsweetened version because it's no sugar and all that stuff. But I've been really wanting some vanilla sweetened almond milk, so I got me some because I deserve something good too. Vanilla yogurt for smoothies and some cream cheese frosting for some mini cupcakes we're gonna make. Since I am measuring out everything, so we're trying to be healthy, uh, I saw these and figured that I could add to my already, like I think I have like two or three sets, so yeah, I've got another set and these are pretty. This is the only like marketed um, weight loss thing that I get is these Reese cups. Because I am starting to like these better than regular Reese cups. They just seem to have like a better chocolate um, for them. Yeah. And then two yeah. packs of cream cheese because we are going to, we're gonna make jalapeno poppers. My kids' cups are getting very worn out, so we got them some. Uh, what are these superheroes? And then mama got her some instant coffees because sometimes I just need them. I might have one today. Not that I'm feeling tired, just feeling stressed. And then some clear forks because I ain't doing dishes this weekend. One more cup, that is Batman. Like I said, mama should get some good things too. So I got some of those. I got peanut butter. 
And I got an orange. These are like the Pedialyte, but the not. They're cheaper. And I got a strawberry one too. Sweet tea because I know I'm gonna feel lazy and not wanna make sweet tea myself. 24 jalapenos, because if we ever buy just like a dozen, uh, they're all eaten before we even get anything else on the table. So lots and lots of jalapenos. Cookie dough, because we're going easy. I've been really liking the everything um, bagel seasoning on the actual bagel, so I got some to put on other stuff, because I heard it's really good on like eggs and stuff. Bacon to wrap the jalapeno poppers in. Regular popcorn for these regular people. And then we are going on vacation soon, so. <laughs> Oh, first of all, my receipt, how much money do I spend? $158 on all this stuff. So we are going on vacation soon, and a couple of us needed new swim uh, suits. So I got this for my husband. I got this top for me because I have some black bottoms, but I don't have any tops that really go with it, so I got that one. And bathing suits are dang expensive, so I didn't really feel like spending $20 on something. I got this one for Miss Haley Girl. It's a little seahorse and it'll protect her fair skin when we are out at Jellystone. And then Harrison needed a new pair because he is growing so fast. So he picked out these ones with lizards. And then just in case someone doesn't have some tomorrow, I got an extra pair of arm floaties. Now the baby is starting to cry. I'm exhausted, so. For y'all, it's gonna seem like that, that I'm gonna be upstairs cleaning all those daggum toys tonight. But for right now, I'm taking a break for the rest of the day, like for the next at least three hours. I'll have to cook dinner in the meantime, but baby's crying. Children are probably terrorizing each other and messing up the rooms that I just cleaned. Yeah, we'll come back later. All right, before they get up here, and start going through more stuff. Look, literally wall to wall mess. The couch is all tore up. There's toys all the way over here. We need to move this ladder before they start climbing on it. Yeah. So how I always clean up here is I get all the toys up here in this area and then I start putting them all away. So let's get to it.
That's as clean as it's gonna get today. They're just gonna mess it up again before the party happens that I'm gonna have to go up here and redo some things. So that's all I'm doing for today because I'm tired. So hopefully got some motivation.